Sunday School, April 3rd, 2022, two weeks away from Easter. Today's title, A Life of Persecution. If you are truly connected to Jesus, you can expect to live a life of being opposed and persecuted. The main point of today's lesson, if you are a dedicated Christian, you can expect to be treated like Jesus was treated. Our comments today will be derived from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 18 through 25, and John 16, verses 1 through 4. So on the night before Jesus was arrested and tried and the night before the following day when he would be crucified. He told his disciples many things, which John recorded. Among those things he said, If the world hates you, you know that the world hated me first before it hated you. If you were of the world, then the world would love you. The world loves it and celebrates when you go along with whatever they say and whatever they want to do. So Jesus says, if you were part of the world, the world would love you. But since you're not of the world, the world will oppose you. The world will hate you. I chose you. Now, I did not choose you to be like the rest of the world. I chose you to live different, to be a part of the world. And because of that, the world hates you. Because of me, because of my name and the things you do in my name, say in my name, the world will hate you. Remember I told you that the servant is not greater than the master. If you see me treated in this way, then what more will they do to you? And Jesus goes on to say that he had preached the word, they had heard the word, not just the disciples, but those who did not believe. And if they had kept his words, and followed him, then they would love others who followed him. But because they rejected the word of God, then they hate those who do follow. They will do terrible things to you because you call yourself by my name. For my name's sake, they will do all these things to you. Because they do not know the one who sent me. They do not know God, therefore they do not know the Son of God. Jesus goes on to say that if I had not come, then they would have no sin. But I did come, and they did see me and hear me. So they have no excuse. And then Jesus said, He who hates me hates the Father who sent me. If I had not done mighty works, wonders, then they might have excuse, but I did come, and they did see the wonders. Therefore, they have no excuse, so they hate me, and they hate my Father. But all this has happened to fulfill the Scripture. Psalm 69. They hated me, without cause. I've told you all these things so that you won't stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. They will arrest you. They will beat you. They will kill you. And some of the people who kill you will actually think that they're doing God's work. When the time comes and you see these things happening, Remember that I told you.
The writer of our Sunday school lesson makes the comment that it's easy to follow Jesus when there is no opposition. Well, today we are seeing a lot of opposition to following Jesus. The world has no use for God, but sometimes they will tolerate some prayer, some discussion of God, as long as the name of Jesus doesn't appear. Then they get greatly offended. Some of you remember a time when most people were decent, law-abiding, polite, Christian people, or at least they respected Christian values. That world no longer exists. We will now see who is truly dedicated to Christ and who is not. Two action points this week. Number one, pray for strength to be a bold witness in these challenging times. Number two, support missionaries with your prayers and your money, especially those working in places that are very hostile to the gospel of Christ. Father in heaven, we pray for the Holy Spirit to give us the words, the strength, the wisdom, boldness and courage that even when we are opposed, even when we are persecuted, that we will still proclaim the gospel until you call us home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.